All right, I hope you are doing well. Got a cool product review coming at you right now. Okay, I hope you are doing well. Thanks so much for tuning in and checking out the video. Please make sure you hit the uh, like button if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And hit the bell too so you don't miss anything. New videos come out, product reviews like this. Today we have the new Swing Caddy SC200 Plus. Now this cool bad boy is the, it's the 200. It's in a 200 body, but it's upgraded. It's a new and improved version of the Swing Caddy SC200. Incredibly popular model. You may have had that yourself. And if you do, you just might want to upgrade and check out the uh, Swing Caddy 200 Plus because they have done some cool things to it. We're going to go over here and uh, first let's just open her up, see what we got inside. All right. Cool packaging as as always. Peel her open. Directions. You know I don't need those, but uh, they're here for you. In case you need them. Keep those handy. Mm -hmm. Take off your little uh, plastic uh, protector. It's great. Okay. You make sure you've got four AAA batteries in here. Beautiful. Did it right. Power switch just off the side here. Off and on. Volume controls and controls on the side of the unit for club selection and all of that good stuff. You got your modes over here, clubs on this side, volume on this side. It will speak to you and tell you what you are doing. Beautiful. Stands up. What you do is you set this right behind you uh, in line with the ball and you hit your shots. You've got to give it a little information. Use your remote or use your controls on the side of the unit to do that. And so let's say you're going to hit an 8 iron. You just tell it you're hitting an 8 iron and uh, it will... Four. Ooh, four. That's the volume. Three, four, three, two, one. Nothing. Two. You can turn the volume all the way off, so that's a good thing. Um, so you just select your club. You can adjust the loft, the the loft angle on the club a little bit if you wanted to uh, play with that. And in case your seven iron or something was a little more loft than it says, what you do is you just kind of help it out in terms of you know what it's initially searching for. So when you hit your ball, it has an idea of where it should be in, uh, in space so that it can get everything as accurate as possible. Yards. So as you're hitting shots, you can either have it on total distance or carry distance, depending on what you're, you're looking for. Uh, if you want to know how far things are running out, maybe with your driver as well, and then maybe with an iron, you would want to know your total carry. So carry distance is going to be super important. The great features about the Swing Caddy SC200 are, uh, I'll leave a link for the website uh, in the video description below. So please check that out. Um, the newest feature with this is the fact that it will do swing speed only mode. So you can just swing a club past it and it will register swing speed. And that's important when, let's say you're hitting inside or, or you're not hitting a ball at all and you just want to work on swing speed, see where you're, you're at in terms of that. So you don't necessarily have to hit a ball to get the reading. Very few launch monitors on the market these days actually are doing that. The ones that do it are typically, in my opinion, a little more accurate because it's picking up more than just ball data. So some of them will just capture that initial ball flight off the club face and then they'll interpolate your swing speed. They'll do 
uh, calculations and say, oh, your swing speed must have been 87 miles an hour if the ball speed was that speed and so on and so forth. So this is actually capturing club head speed and ball data and then putting it all together so you have all your numbers in here. And it does use a barometric pressure calibration for all of that, just scientific stuff. But uh, that's what typically the smaller launch monitors are using, is that they're not seeing your ball the entire flight of the golf ball. They're picking up the barometric pressure as it leaves the club face and then calculating everything uh, after that fact. Okay, but it does do carry distance, swing speed, ball speed, and it will also get your smash factor here. It has a good range, so you can get anywhere from 30 to, let's say, they say 320 yards on their website. What's cool is this, you go to the Swing Caddy website, you can buy it for their price, but I'm gonna give you a special link in this video that's gonna take you to another page where you can also purchase it at a significant discount. So be sure to check that out. I believe currently at the time of shooting this video, it's $289 on the link I'm giving you and uh, $349 from the Swing Caddy site. So it's a nice little uh, discount for you from this video. So be sure to click that link to get the discounted version of the Swing Caddy SC 200 plus. Well, another thing that's really cool about this and other ones do it as well is you know you have your your standard modes on here, which is your, your practice mode, where you're just hitting shots, getting familiar with uh, distances and how far you're hitting things. You've got a target mode where you, you can then just kind of get dialed in on specific numbers and work on your game in that mode as well, in that target mode, or you can just use uh, the approach mode, which is more your short game work and work on specific um, distances. It's kind of like the target distance, but it's more like the approach distance. You're really trying to hone in and get closer to um, specific numbers in that shorter game uh, area, which is super critical, especially, let's say right now, if you're hitting into a net, this, you can use this while hitting into a net. It will pick it up because it's only picking up the ball for the first you know, 10 yards or so, or so after you make impact. So you just need a little bit of distance from the net in order for it to get that initial ball data and then you're good. Uh, you don't need to be on course or at the range, although something like this is fantastic because you can put this in your golf bag, you're on part three or you're in the fairway and you just wanna kinda check your numbers as you play, put it down right behind you, swing away, you're good to go. So, quick look at the Swing Caddy SC200 Plus. Does a lot of great things. Check it out, it might be something you're interested in. Uh, also, this display, super visible in the bright sunlight. So, that's not gonna mess you up at all. It's gonna be a great little uh, uh, device for you. If you're looking for a launch monitor that you could just take with you, get the data you want, and uh, enjoy. Now, these aren't TrackMans, okay? They're not $20,000 machines. They're not gonna be as perfect as a TrackMan or these super high-end expensive launch monitors. But hey, for us folks who are just looking to spend a, a couple hundred bucks on something, they're fantastic. They can give you a lot of great information for a relatively low cost. So check it out. Swing Caddy SC200 Plus. Link in the video description below. Love you guys. See you in the next video.